I was born with a genetic eye disorder, but I did enjoy good vision in my younger years. I've always been good at fixing things, as an electronic service technician fixing TVs and VCRs in the 80s, to computers in the 90s, and now today as a therapist fixing people. As my vision decreased, I decided to learn Braille, which required extreme sensitivity in my fingers to read the tactile dots, which represent characters and numbers. I couldn't know then that the increased sensitivity I was developing in my fingers would help me in my later years as a therapist, but that's exactly what has happened. Going from servicing electronics to working with computers and now working with people, it's sort of been a natural transition where I've always fixed things in the past and now I'm using my increased sense of touch to actually feel what needs to be fixed and that's what has led me to where I am today in this clinic. I like to have a, an assessment done first before we even attempt to do any treatments. I have to make sure that you have a condition that I can treat. So I go hands-on in the assessment and I use my hand that reads Braille to confirm exactly what you have wrong with you. Then I can decide whether I can fix it and help you or send you out to someone else because it's not something that I can do. Today I treat a lot of conditions that are very difficult to resolve and a lot of cases aren't seen as treatable by therapy from everything in the jaw with TMJ right down to and including bunions and hammer toes in the feet. I have created over the years the ability to treat six main conditions that afflict the body that normally or typically require surgery to resolve. So it's, it's very exciting that I now can offer an alternative to people to not have surgery. Most of my work today as a blind therapist is in resolving some very difficult conditions that cause pain, integrating various manual therapy techniques with shockwave therapy. So most people that come here can expect to have shockwave therapy done to them because it's the tool that allows me to get the work done as fast as I do and to treat the things that I do. I'm happy to say that this combined approach to therapy has resulted in an extremely high success rate in resolving the conditions I treat. Shockwave therapy is the technology that is used to break apart kidney stones. It is acoustic waves that enter the body and pass through healthy tissue and it breaks apart dysfunctional tissue. I use the technology to help me resolve a lot of the conditions in the body caused by this dysfunctional tissue. It causes pain. I also use the ability for it to break things apart when I'm treating bunions and hammer toes because bunions are a combination of calcium deposits, inflammation, very hardened connective tissue which needs to get broken apart just like in a kidney stone. So it's very effective and very non-invasive in doing that. The non-surgical treatments that I offer uh, to people are primarily with the use of shockwave therapy. Without it, I could not offer those treatments. We often hear of people that go through some very difficult times and we wonder why. And we're always told that things happen for a reason in life and it may be many years later before we realize why they happened years ago. When I lost my ability to drive a car in 1986 because of my vision problem, I could not imagine then why that would be a good thing and the eventual visual loss that's happened over the years. But today, maybe I'm seeing full circle why. Maybe now my ability to feel the knowledge and the experience I have now as a therapist the amount of people that I'm able to help with conditions that are very severe, very difficult to resolve in some people, maybe now I'm seeing full circle of why I have vision problems.